Hello everybody, WJS Gamer 20 here. Welcome back to more of the Wii Party playthrough. Last time we did Board Game Island and we didn't win, that's fine. Let's see if we can win this next game. And I really hate this game. And I also hate Balance Bow as well. But I hate this game, me of a kind. Like, this game is literally rigged. Like, you'll see what I mean once we actually get to it. But what? Swap out your me characters to get three of a kind dressed in matching colors. So yeah, it's basically where you've got, to, it's like Candy Crush, but, you know, you're not obviously playing with candies, you're playing with, um, me's. Yeah, I'll just go with that because I don't want to waste any time. But once again, I'm not really mad if I lose, but it is going to be kind of embarrassing because it is standard difficulty and yeah, <laughs> it's just going to be embarrassing if I do lose, but basically they never ever would give me the me I want. And they would always give them what they want. Like, it's just, you'll, you're, you're gonna literally see that happen in this game, for sure. And whenever I need to win a mini game, that's when it's a mini game like this, where it's like luck base. But face flip one card in each row as you meet face on it. The first player to flip over all of his or her cards wins. I swear, if I lose this mini game, it's not gonna be my fault. It really isn't. And like, there also could be a possibility where they find all three of their cards in the first turn. Which, obviously, is gonna happen to this girl, or maybe not. Okay, so I'm here, here, and I guess here. No, of course not. Of course I wouldn't be there. Well this really sucks because now if that weird girl with the big blue eyes. She only has to find her middle card. As for me, I have to find the bottom card. I'm gonna go for this one. Damn it! Come on! See, look, this is when I need to win the mini game, and this is when it keeps giving me mini games like this, where I just don't win at all. Yep, and you're obviously gonna win. Yep, and that's not really my fault. That's kind of good. If I don't get the me I want, then it's gonna be this mini game's fall. Yep, I'm not gonna get it. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, well, yes, mind. Yeah, that's who I wanted. I wanted the blue. Oh, you know what? I can just take that. There you go. And then once you have three in a row of the matching color, um, and you have two of the same color on of a row, then it means one to go. Also look, they're gonna give me another one of those. Or maybe not. Okay, stop watchers. Stop your clock at the time shown at the top. Your clock will be hidden after a few seconds, so try to keep count. Press A to stop your clock. Okay, so 10 seconds. Two, three. Yeah, I definitely got it. Yeah, because the green person stopped her clock way too late, so yeah. You know, this minigame, Stopwatchers, 
almost in terms of like how it looks, it almost feels like a Mario Party minigame. It really does. Okay, so right here I have a trade, so I'm obviously going to trade you and replace it with you. And I already won. Don't know how that happened, but whatever. And you also can get some bonuses as well if you like win the set. So like if you get, so I'm the color blue right now, and if you get, um, if you get basically um, the same color as like your, it's like right now, right there it says I'm blue, and it, so like I got three blues, and you, I get a bonus for that. And if you're red, you'll get a bonus for red, and then for green, it's green, and then bonus for green, and then for yellow, bonus for yellow. Okay, pearl plunder. Swim around as a mermaid or merman and collect as many pearls as you can. Oh, and watch out for jellyfish. That's right, we want to watch out for those horrible jellyfish. And the pearls are also randomized. And you also just use the D-pad to move and you press 2 quickly to swim. Oh, stupid jellyfish. Go away, jellyfish. I said go away, you stupid jellyfish. Oh crap, no, no. I can't let the yellow person beat me. Oh, thank god. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's look at JSG20. Those of you who don't know what I said there, I just said my me name, WJSG20. Okay, so I'm gonna go for this trade, because obviously if I go for this blue, someone else is just gonna get this trade no matter what, so I'm obviously gonna take this. And, wow, there's only just this person who has only blue. Well, I guess I'll take that. And this is where they're gonna start getting really lucky, and you're gonna see, like, right now. <laughs> she just got the blue back that I stole from her, but it was a different me. Seriously, I needed a green, platinum, or red to get a one to go, but there's actually a wild me, so I shouldn't worry about that. Uh, Feathered Frenzy. We've already played this, so I'm not gonna read the rules. And this minigame I don't like, because like I said in Board Game Island, but I hate this minigame. As long as you just do not touch the leaves, the brown leaves, you'll be fine. Gold leaves, like I said, are worth three, and then the pink ones are just worth one, like you can see right here. I'm gonna get this gold one. I just really find it annoying, like, how they blow away when you barely miss them. Because then, like, even the computer players can get the ones you blew away. Okay, so I'm gonna go for this wild me. Choose the color that you like to make your wild me. Um, you can't make it platinum, I don't know why, but you just can't for some reason. I guess platinum's a rare color, so that's probably why you can't make it platinum. Um, so you have to make it either green or red. I feel like it's to do with rareness, so I think red is kind of like a not rarish color, so I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I got red. And we'll get rid of this platinum. Because obviously I think the game's gonna think, oh, let's not give him a red then. And this is where it's gonna change right now. It's gonna change right now when he gets a trade. 
Okay, so all I need is a red. Aw. Uh, well, hopefully there won't be any, like, wilds or any trades. That's what I'm kind of worried about right now. Okay, back attack. This minigame is kind of funny because of the way the Wii's die, but track down your opponents and Chiga tar- chi I just said Chiga targets. On your backs, last player left cruising wins, and you just press to the shoe and you use D-pad to move. Ah! Well, that was beef boss that got out. Nope. I couldn't go up because then obviously I would have been out. No, I would have got red out if. She... Oh, so lucky. Stop. Getting away from me. Stop barely getting away from me. Gosh. Oh, I should not have done that. This is not helping. Come on, just die. Of course, he didn't die because you kept getting so lucky. And now I'm not gonna win this roll off. Just watch. Oh yeah, if you get a six, you no matter what win the roll off. Haha, uh -huh, stupid weird looking girl. You thought you could beat me, but you didn't. So obviously I need a trade, a wild, or a red. That's like the only thing that can help me out right now. That's that's not gonna help. Uh shoot now. They're probably gonna get those three. Yep, and this person's gonna get it right now. Oh, never mind. Yeah, like, see, look, this is what I was talking about. Whenever I need the color I need, it, they never, ever give me it, no matter what. It's just very annoying. Space Brawl, it's a good old-fashioned Space Brawl. Fly into your opponents or throw Space Junk at them to rack with points. And you just use the D-pad to move, and you press 2 to basically, um, move. Or you press 2 to, like, move and attack at the same time. Okay, how is the red, how is the yellow person winning? No, I'm not losing to a standard player. I'm not losing to a step. No, how is this happening? How is this happening? How is this happening? Wow, I actually lost to a standard player. That's because she kept running away from me. I guess that's her revenge for, I guess, beating her on last one. Okay, good. So now I have to get really lucky here. Hit! They never, ever, 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 ever give me what I want. Well, at least that way, nothing else bad can happen here. Okay, thank you for actually giving me what I wanted, but now look, we're gonna get something luck based now. Okay, maybe not. Uh, puzzle pickup. Complete as many two-piece puzzles as you can before time is up. The ones with a meat face are worth two points. Okay, so... This one right here goes here. Okay, I'm gonna go for that one. Can't find any that I need. You 
can actually move some pieces out the way. But, you know, it's kind of hard to do that. See, like, you can do this to do that. Oh my god, the cat looking girl. Yeah, that, that, the yellow person kind of looks like a cat. But she is, like, just wants to win so badly because she keeps getting, like, second and first and... Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take this from you because... Yeah. Well, that didn't really matter though because even if I didn't go for the trade, I still would have got it because of the red you can see right there. So I feel like no matter what, I, I win. Like even if like they get really lucky with the set, I still win. And obviously I can see that yellow. Okay, lofty leap. Grab the rope, swing back and forth to build up your momentum. Let go to leap as far as you can. I'm actually trying to get a new record on this mini game. I just can't because for some reason this record I have right now is like really good. Oh, never mind, it was good. Actually, wait a minute, guys. Let's just continue. She was one meter behind the red guy. So let's see. Obviously, I need the yellow. And what else could happen? I like how both you and you need a red. And I'll just go for this. You need a platinum, so I'll definitely go for that. Okay, chop chops. It's an old fashioned vegetable chopping contest. The first player to chop up his or her vegetable is the winner. So you just shake your weird mill, that's all you do. Eight mini games that make me tired like this one does. God, well, how does the yellow person keep getting second? She has to be cheating. Oh, whatever. Um. Well, the green person goes last. Okay, I really hope that you or you go for this green. If you don't. Then I and then I'll hate you too forever. Okay, I want to go. Okay, thank you, Shibobin, or however you say that name. Yeah, I didn't I didn't have a red, that's why you didn't trade me. Well, either way, if I lose this, it doesn't matter, because I win no matter what. And of course, it's another one of these things where I need to get lucky with the two random means. Okay, balloon buggies, burst your balloon, burst balloons of your dune buggy to rack up points. Pink ones are worth one point, and gold ones are worth three. 
hold the weight remote horizontally until it left or right to stay or press 2 to accelerate and 1 to reverse. So yeah, it's kind of like Mario Kart a little bit. Although you... There's actually a battle mode in Mario Kart called Balloon Battle, but you don't pop balloons like you do here. Still don't get how I'm so bad at these mini games. Oh come on, how did I miss that? Yeah, they also are spike balls, which will, like, blow you up. Not really blow you up, they'll blow you into the air, like, that's what they'll do. No! They actually catch up, that is actually gonna be amazing. No, stop! Okay, good. I s how is the yellow person so good? Like, sh she's got nothing but second place. I have a feeling she's actually cheating, because, like, none of these, like, two here have got second other than this Shabobin person. I have no clue what that, how to pronounce that name. Well, like I said, if I lose, doesn't matter. Okay, well these two don't need any of these colors. Okay, please give me what I want. Doesn't matter if you don't, but... I mean, whatever. Oh, there's a wild me. Oh, I can't do platinum! Oh, dang it! Oh, that kind of sucks. Well, either way, I will take the wild me, just because... Yeah. Dicey Descent, choose left or right, and crush your fingers. If you are unlucky, you'll get zapped, two zaps, and it's game over. So yeah, it's another stupid, stupid, stupid luck-based minigame. I wish this game just only had one luck-based minigame. That would actually be pretty cool. And I'll go on this person's side because she thinks that she can get second all the time and we'll prove it then. If she actually gets second again, I'm actually gonna like laugh hysterically. Because this if this girl thinks she can get second, then I may as well just go on whatever side she chooses. Actually, I don't know if that's actually a good idea to do that, but still. Also, you guys think in the background there that's actually Woohoo Island? That actually looks like that mountain there, it looks like Woohoo Island. A little bit. Oh my god, if she actually gets second here or first, then this girl is just a cheat. And finally, she didn't get second. Wow, 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 that is incredible. Well, it's not gonna matter because this Yoshi's gonna need green, so I, it doesn't matter who I take here, I'm just gonna take this. Nope, it's not gonna matter. Well, we lost this set, but we are still gonna win. Congratulations, Yoshi, for winning that. Okay, that's no way. Oh, that's not even close. Oh, you got girls' bonus. Well, all he has is just females. It's kind of funny. Okay, thanks for playing. Now it's time to announce the winner. With 18 points, it's WJSG20. Congratulations. So yeah, we won. Like I said before, I I really hate this mode, but I just got really lucky somehow. 
I really don't understand. But either way, it doesn't matter. Well, it kind of does, because I just wanted sad, but, you know, you get what I'm saying. So we got a total of 18 points, Yoshi Dot. It's kind of a weird name because there's a character obviously called Yoshi in Mario and she's a woman with glasses wearing a green tee a green t-shirt, so that's obviously Yoshi, but there are different color Yoshis obviously. Yeah. That's still kind of funny how I lost that space mini game. It really was. Okay, so yeah, that was me of a kind. So in the next video we are going to do a spin-off. Um spin-off, like I don't know what to say about it. It's kind of a luck-based minigame or game as well, but it doesn't it's not like this. You have to just win mini games like it says right here. But I think it's actually going to be pretty easy, and also, let me just show you what we're also going to be doing. We're also going to be showing off advanced difficulty, which you have here are some of the means. And usually in this game, I'm more comfortable with adva advanced, just because, you know, advanced is like the hard difficulty, it's like kind of middle of the world. And I'll also show you what we'll be doing for some of these other modes, so... For minigames mode, there also is like challenge, I will be doing all of these challenges. I haven't played like any of these except for this one because I really, really love this mode, the Garden Gridlock. But the only thing is though, I haven't played Garden Gridlock in a very long time, so I don't remember how to do every stage. But, you know, we'll figure that out when we get to it. Definitely looking forward to when we get to Garden Grip Lock Road. And also everything else. So yeah, that was me with Kai, and so see you all for a spin-off. Bye everyone.